on, Steve. One more late game. You can do it, buddy. This is old Gretzky's fault. Hi, everyone. Oh, <laughs> come on. Uh, the LA Kings, 2-2. One of, one of their many ties this season. Mm. The Kings actually get the extra point in a laser tag, or whatever it is they have, after what should be continuous 3-on-3 -on -three OT. Not sure how many other ways I can say that, I just sound petty at this point, but, uh... Yeah. This one's hard. This one's real hard. I, I enjoy doing these videos, I do. I, I really enjoy it. It's not about that. It's... <laughs> this team, <laughs> This team! They changed their logo. They did. I used to think it was about the logo. No, they changed it. They changed it. <laughs> They're cursed. They're cursed. It's not even their fault, this one. They're cursed. Like, the Leafs, they get the start they need in this one. Two minutes in. Mitch Marner coming in. This kid is disgusting. Pass in front to Tyler Bozak, and he buries it. one nothing Leafs early. Still late by Eastern standards, but early in this game. Dude, Marner has 34 assists. <laughs> Holy cow. I tweeted this during the game, but I, I have to always remind myself. So, so like, we, we watch a guy like Mitch Marner. We watch William Nylander. Holy smokes, he's so good. And we've been watching Austin Matthews all season. And we go, wow, they're so good. I have to remind myself that, oh wait, they're going to get better. Okay, so like, other teams, you know how you can't stop them now? Yeah, it's gonna get worse. Of course, Freddie Anderson holding the fort. It's one nothing after one. Hooray! Second period, Brian Boyle. Oh yeah, that guy. Wins the faceoff back to Nikita Zaitsev. He puts it on and it goes off Jeff Carter and past Jonathan Quick. Wasn't quick enough for that. Two nothing Leafs. The worst lead you can have in Leaf hockey. But enough about that. Let's salivate over the fact that Brian Boyle won a faceoff and it led to a Leaf goal. Let's overanalyze that for a week. It's only because the Leafs lost that's not the number one point of conversation this morning. If the Leafs had won, that goal would be the Number one topic in Leafs land. I mean that and Anderson shut up. Brady Anderson looked pretty good in LA, Tom. That's right, Tim. Not a single puck went off a teammate's brain. But I gotta say, all joking aside, Brian Boyle looked great in this one, and I have a renewed faith in the fourth line. It sucks to see Josh Levo scratched. I don't like that. But the line of Matt Martin, Brian Boyle, and Nikita Soshnikov looked great against the Kings after a pretty so-so game in San Jose. But I mean, how good could Boyle have possibly been against the Sharks? I I'm actually a little surprised that Mike Babcock used him. Supposedly, he got on a flight at 5 in the morning Eastern. The game against the Sharks wasn't done until about 1 a.m. Eastern the next day. Obviously, Boyle got what looked like a good night's sleep before this one because he was amazing. Brian Boyle looks like a school bus on skates. There was a very brief moment where Boyle and Marner were on the ice at the same time and beside each other, and it was hilarious. Take your kid to gel day. And Freddie Anderson holds the fort, and it's 2 nothing Leafs after 2. Oh, can I end the video here? All right. Kings on the power play to start the third period. That's bad. That's bad. You don't want that. You don't want that. In the direction of the net. You can't say on net because that, no. No, 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 no. That puck was going nowhere near the net. And the puck goes in. What didn't make the goal any better was Jeff Carter going, bit, bit, Like it was bad enough that the Leafs got scored on. It was another thing seeing Jeff Carter with a face on like he's about to blame a fart on a dog. And we watched the replay and flipping, it goes off Nikita's. <laughs> Well, Nikita Zaitsev with his second of the game. It goes off his visor and into the net. How is that fair? How is that allowed? Why? Uh, well, it's okay. You know what? It's okay. Leafs still have a 2-1 lead. That's good. That's good. Less than two full minutes into the period. 117 seconds into the period, as a matter of fact. Tanner Pearson comes in, crushed by Alexi Marchenko. All right. And here's the thing about hockey players. Uh, they often get up. Martinez to Pearson, who, by the way, not dead, put it past Freddie Henderson, the Kings tied up less than two minutes into the game. Sorry, sorry, before I continue. Bleh! Bleh! Bleh, bleh, bleh! I think I have a new least favorite goal horn. Like, you're in LA, just get Jim Carrey to record the stupid thing. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? God, I hope the Kings finish 30th in scoring next year because of that stupid thing. But enough about the goal horn, how about this? <laughs> This frustrating goal, man. I think what's so angering about so many of the goals that the Leafs let in, they're not like two-on-ones or three-on-twos or odd-man rushes. 
The Leafs are in their own zone. They look like they have things handled. Against Ottawa, you put like three guys on Kyle Turris in the corner. Mike Hoffman's wide open, scores on Freddie Anderson. Sharks game, Patrick Marlowe comes in. Three guys go at Patrick Marlowe. Jay Carter's not even facing the play. And the puck goes to Thomas Hurdle, who has an easy shot on Freddie Anderson. This one, this play, like so many plays, the Kings have four attackers. The Leafs have four defenders. Defenders should cancel out. It doesn't. Third period continues. Bozak doesn't score. We're in overtime. Bozak doesn't score. Bozak could have easily had a hat trick in this game, capped off by the OT winner, but someone up there just decided, nope, this game's gonna end in a tie. And I mean, the Kings could have won it in overtime too. They came very close on Freddie Anderson, and I would have felt better about it. Anderson stops the first two shooters. Anzi Kopitar comes in third. He scores. William Nylander. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Who cares? The shootout is garbage. And I think, <laughs> I think what makes it more maddening is: Do the Leafs not seem like a team tailor-made to be excellent? In the shootout, the Leafs are what one and eight in the shootout. They they look like a team that should be eight and one. Mitch Marner, Austin Matthews, William Nylander, even even Nikita Soshnikov. Did, did Levo have an attempt? I'm not sure. Bozak historically has been great in the shootout. James Van Riemsdyk historically has been great in the shootout. The Leafs have oodles and oodles of skill. Kadri, how is Kadri an afterthought? That's how skilled this team is. They got the dangles, they got ripping shots, they got everything that you need to succeed in a shootout. Well, it's because Freddie, look, Freddie hasn't been great in the shootout this season, but the Leafs haven't been scoring goals. Oh, Steve, whining, whining about the shootout, whining. All right, tell you what, you go watch the highlights again, okay? Go listen to the fans in Los Angeles, California, okay? I'd, I'd consider that a pretty key market that the NHL wants to cater to, yeah? Go listen to the fans in Los Angeles, California. You go ahead and you tell me which one you think they'd prefer. Okay. Last but not least, I wanted to show you Jonathan Quick making that crazy save on Nylander, but like, I can't, I can't make that figure do the splits. That was a pretty good save. Yes, it was, Jonathan. The shootout is trash. You're right, Jonathan. And now the Leafs have Curtis McElhaney taking on the Anaheim Ducks. Wouldn't it be nice to have Freddie take him on? They floated the idea on the broadcast, hey, maybe they'll let Freddie play back-to-back -back games and he'll get to take on the Ducks if his workload is light. We're about five minutes in and the Kings are already riding Freddie like a pony in the crease and I'm like, hmm, don't think we're gonna get there. The Kings, by the way, for as dirty and as frustrating as they seemed in that game, Nothing they did was crazily egregious, but the Kings are what worries me about the Leafs getting into the playoffs, and, and even this time of year. They just don't know what they can and can't get away with yet. The Kings do. That to me was the difference in the Leafs Bruins series, other than the fact that Bruins were far superior. Especially in game seven, the elbows to the face, the, the Marshan Slewfoots who's surprised, and the little trips, and he just knows all these little things that you're able to get away with, not just in the playoffs, but in a game seven scenario. The Leafs didn't. Question of the game, are you at least encouraged by how the Leafs played against the Kings, how, how they had a nice game against them, they looked every bit as good as them, if not better, or are you just disheartened by how these stupid losses keep piling up? That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to tell all your friends. Mm. I hate the shootout.